curious to hear just how the free agency process went for you and, and the recruiting pitches that you may have heard from uh, 49ers and players and coaches that convinced you that uh, the 49ers were your best chance at a championship and whether uh, Kyle Shanahan did any pitching with a uh, FaceTime video call. Um, for the most part, it was pretty simple. I feel like uh, I let m- my agent handle most of the most of the talking and most of the everything else because I was had a newborn. My child's uh, 12 days old right now, so I was, I was trying to deal with that at the time. But I feel like my agent handled it the most. Um, he was telling me back a few months ago, he was, he was talking to uh, the 49ers, and they were just, like, really interested in me. So I just started doing a little research. Other than the property, like, uh, places to stay out here, everything else is fine. Like, it's lovely out here. It's beautiful weather. It don't never snows. Doesn't get too cold, like doesn't get too hot, like so. I mean, that's perfect for me. Hey, George, congratulations on being a dad. That's awesome. Um, can you t- talk a little bit about what influence Bubba Ventrone had on your career? Uh, what are some of the, I guess, biggest things he taught you? Uh, Bubba, just relentless every day relentless i love bubba uh bubba really just pushed me he believed in me you know and that really helps a young player like develop like having somebody to believe in you he just texted me not too long ago bubba and joe uh just saying like they wish they had me best of luck over here you know when all else fails like bubba was a person i can really come talk to like he's a great guy um he really motivated me a lot, like in the kick return area. Like he he gonna get on you if anything goes wrong with special things. He he fussing and complaining, so I don't want to let him down. I remember it was one game. Uh, he was telling me like this gunner, like he was unstoppable, like he was the guy, like this was the guy to match up with. And and the same game, I threw him in the bleachers, just because Bubba challenged me that that same week to get better. So I love Bubba. Hi, uh, George. I noticed he didn't miss a single tackle in the box last year. And uh, I think that's something you put out there on Twitter. Uh, how, how much pride do you take in, in, in tackling? And specifically, what have you done over the course of your career to become such a good tackler closer to the line of scrimmage with so many bodies flying around? The crazy thing about it, I never played safety until I got to the NFL. I always play outside linebacker or they used to call me the animal in college. Uh, one of my coaches called me animal because I'm always hunting on the field. I honestly, one time I hurt my neck in college, like just just a little small thing like that. And so it's like after that, I was just practicing, on, just wrapping and rolling and just looking to the tackle, through the, through the man. And that, I guess that what helps me out the most, um, just with my eyes and my hands. I'm a handsy person, so it's like I like to squeeze and grab on. Like when I'm hitting somebody, I grab for the legs and wrap and roll. Hey, George, congratulations on being a new dad. Uh, have the 49ers discussed with you what your role would be? You've been predominantly special teams. You were an all pro. How does that work going forward, especially with a uh, defensive coordinator, D'Amico Ryans? Yeah, so um, they brought me in to better the room, you know, compete. At the end of the day, they want me to compete at the safety spot. You know, I'm going to do my very best. I'm going to give it a go every single day, you know, and also I can bring in for special teams also. Uh, I just, the leadership in the room, like just being another vet in the room, showing the way of my success rate right now, you know, and moving forward from there, just trying to help each player get better, help me get better, help the room get better, help the room improve. And so I guess that's the main reason why I came in, just try to help the organization as a whole, either it be special team or safety, I'm willing to do whatever it takes. Hi, George, welcome and congratulations. Thank you. All right, I just wanted to know and reflect on your journey of once being one dra- undrafted to now signing with the 49ers. The process uh, is crazy. Um, you know, coming out of college, out of a smaller college, 
I did not know where I was going to be at uh, UCA in particular, uh, Central Arkansas. You know, being in that smaller college, I had to put up a lot of stats. And the main stat I had was like 91 special team tackles in four years playing for them. So that really stuck out to Bubba Ventron. And that's how I got to the NFL. At first, when I first got there, it's like it was smoke and mirrors. I, I felt like back then I wasn't as smart as I am now because the game more more mental. So I improved on my mental and everything else. Um, but now it's it's just me concentrating more and learning is my main task now. Just learning and seeing what I can improve on. Seeing my seeing my strengths and my weaknesses, and moving on from there. What is your mindset like now going into this new season? My mindset, my mindset, always been the dog. I'm always gonna hit. I'm all. I'm never afraid of hitting. I'm always. I'm never slowing down on point of contact. I'm not gonna slow down. George, you are. Um... You know, not the biggest guy, but obviously to do what you do takes a lot of physicality. You've talked about uh, some of that. Where, how do you develop that fearlessness, or, or is that just kind of wired into you? Um, it all depends on what you tell yourself. You know, mental, this game is more mental than it is physical. So if I tell myself, yeah, I'm, going, I'm just going to run through this dude's face, I'm going to do that, you know, at the end of the day. But – in reality, like it's all about recovery. Like I can run through somebody six or seven times a game, as long as I'm recovering throughout the week and actually get my body right. So I mainly focus on like recovering my body the most. That's the most important thing, like recovery, because I never miss a game before in my life. Last one. Hey George, can you go back maybe about five months when you when you and the Colts came to Levi's Stadium, played in that monsoon? Um, and you won the game. What impressions did the 49ers make on you in that game? Um, and then just what expectations do you have for this coming season? Impression wise, I was like, when we flew in, I was like, what is this? What are the colors in the water? <laughs> when I first flew in to San Diego, what, to over here. So other than that, like the game was like, oh, dang, it's a little misty, raining. It, but it was a great game. I love to play in the rain. Um, uh, they didn't really have too much impression on me. I was just worried about my job and what I had to do for our team. You know, I wasn't really too worried about you guys, well, 49ers in particular, because at the end of the day, it doesn't matter about what anybody else does. It doesn't matter about what you, you do. George, I forgot the last – sorry, I forgot the last part of his question. It was kind of more about just the expectations that you have now joining the 49ers, a team that – it's been a, two of the last three conference championships and leaving a Colts team now that also has Super Bowl aspirations by bringing in Matt Ryan. Um, I, I don't know what to say with that. You know, it just I'm just coming here to actually help, try to help the team, you know, in any aspect I can. Like. There's no right or wrong way of doing doing something, you know. You just figure it out throughout the day. So that's what I'm going to be doing from now on out, just seeing, seeing where I fit it on the team, see if I can actually push people to get better, you know, have people push me to get better for the team. Jen, last one. George, you played for the last couple of years with a guy – who's kind of very familiar to the 49ers faithful, DeForest Buckner. How has he influenced what you, how your growth in the NFL and what was he like in the locker room for you? Oh, uh, D-Buck, great. Uh, I got a little nickname for him. He know what it is. I call him little man, even though he's the biggest person in the room. And, you know, man, D-Buck really cool. Uh, he just bring that veteran leadership, like, you could feel D. Buck when he come in the room, just how massive he is and how his presence is in the room. Um, you know, just watching film, watching him on a film, he just relentless. You know, that's what I get from him, just a relentless effort to get better. Like I've never really just experienced that from other players, but like him, 
relentless effort to get better. So I guess that's where I can take that and bring it back to over here also and help just not only myself, but everybody else around me. Thank you, George. Thank you.